right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record on. 14 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 13 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Ricky Sides! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick. Checks the leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big body kick land. 
Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Oh, a single collar tie there. And they separate. A nice leg kick lands. Signs gets hit by that kick to the body. Big oh. knee lands there. He got him. Oh, straight right. Nice leg kick. Oh, huge right hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Another clinch position. Just missing on the uppercut there. Punch over the top. And he's looking for that left hand he just missed. Oh, nice. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Got clip with the right hand. And just misses with that big right hand. Single collar tie now. Right there by signs. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That one is going to end the fight. <laughs> and they separate. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Choi's lower jaw. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! oh straight right. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, no! And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, collar tie. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. All right, so a good job defensively by him. Oh! He's a 
trouble. He's hurt fast. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Choi. Oh! Signs gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big elbow. Big cross punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. The Korean Superboy gets the move. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And he comes through with a big knee. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has over. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. job defensively to fend off the arm bar and slam his opponent to the canvas. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other. Oh! That was crazy! Oh! So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some oh. While Working out of side control here. His opponent's trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Choice back in side control. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because oh! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. with that jab attempt there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the targets. Still nice body to land. Uh, uh.
All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big leg kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Not there. Joy gets in the clinch yet again. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? takedown without issue. Joy and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. Falcon looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big elbow! Big punch land. Man, he is so sound defensively now. Nice. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Lands a big elbow there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Looking for a guillotine. This might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great grounding pound but very patient grounding pound from such a dominant position. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. Lands the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice straight right, Lance. He blocks the punch. Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. And they separate. Just misses with that one. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl.
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus.